Hi, I would like to tell you something about application templates in DDS. DDS stands for Dynamic Delivery Services and it can be used to create XML delivery applications. The application templates use the following DDS components. XDB, our native XML database, to store content and application data. The Xproc engine, Calomet, for XML processing like XSLT transformations. The Xforms engine, Formula, for using Xforms to display forms and handle user input. And GWT, to build the user interface. The main purpose of application templates is to make application development even easier for developers. And the idea of this new feature is that you can create applications by configuration. And that the resulting application can serve as a full-blown application or it can serve as a starting point for further development. Application templates are based on the fact that most applications consist of the same building blocks. For instance, most applications need a search panel which allows the user to search content or metadata based on some search criteria. And when the search is done, the search results must be displayed, for instance in a search result list. And you may need more panels in your application, for instance a content view panel or a tree view panel. This is one way to compose your application based on the building blocks. This is the publishing application. And this is how the application is configured. You can see that we use building blocks like header pane, menu pane, search pane, etc. These panes are grouped by using vertical panels and horizontal panels. Another pane configuration results in the archiving application. You can see an additional pane here, the data set list pane. There is no content view pane. When you click on an item in the search result pane, the content view is shown in a dialog box. And this is the panes configuration of the archiving application. As you can see, the distinction between the publishing and the archiving application lies in the panes configuration. At this moment, DDS only supports these two panes configurations. In the future, you can define your own panes configuration. Let's take a closer look at these template applications. You can change the dataset in a menu pane. You can see that when I change the dataset, the search pane is changed, and so is the content tree. And when I click on the sequence data map, the content is shown as PDF. But when I click on another item, the content is shown as HTML. But there is also a difference in the search results. For instance, if you search for Briggs in the Britannica dataset, you can see that the search result only has one column. But in the archiving application, the search result has five columns. And all the differences I have shown you are configurable. This is the content configuration of one of the applications. This is where you define the datasets with some of the default settings and the content view settings and the search settings. These settings refer to configurations that can be found more to the bottom of the file. In a transformation configuration, you can specify the export pipeline and the style sheet that must perform the transformation of the content in a content view pane. In addition, you can specify one or more schema IDs and the transformation of all content with these schema IDs is handled by this configuration. In this search configuration, you specify the fields of your search form and how the search results are displayed in the search result pane. Based on this configuration, an XForm is generated. And the XQuery that searches the content is also generated based on this configuration. For each search field, you can specify the name of the field and the label in the search form and whether the search is full text or not and whether the search must be executed on the content or on the content metadata. And finally, for each search, 
you must also define the search result items. For each search result item, you can specify the column name and its label in the search result list, and whether the values in this column are based on the content or the metadata document. Now, let's create a template application from scratch. We will use a sample that is delivered with the distribution. And in this sample, the content configuration is already in place. At this moment, the application folder is created and the GWT code, the XForms and some DDS configuration files are generated. And here you can see that under the applications folder in DDS, a PubApp application folder is created. It contains the sources and generated XForms. But we still must load the forms and the data into DDS. You can now run the application. You can do this by building and creating the WAR file and deploying the application, or you can run the application in hosted mode. We will run the application in host mode. We have reached the end of my presentation. More information on templates can be found in the Templates Guide. And the EMC Developer Network contains a section about XML technologies where you can find more information on DDS. You can download DDS by clicking on the download button and selecting DDS.